My name is Manny Torres from Technique Tigers Baseball Academy. We're located at 25 Lindemann Drive. This is video number three. Where we're going over situations in our in motions playbook. And right now we're keeping it real simple with a runner. We're only one runner on base. And right now the runner's at third base. And we're going to work some fly balls to each position. This first situation we're discussing runner at third base, outfield fly ball, sacrifice fly to left field, down the left field line. Okay, so now. In a previous video, we discussed that when a ball is hit to this side of the field, left field side, that the third baseman was responsible to be the cutoff. We also discussed in a previous video that if the ball is hit to center field, that the first baseman is going to come across the diamond and become the cutoff guy there. And also, when the ball is hit to right field, the first baseman also just drops into his box. So the first baseman is responsible for right field, sorry, right field. And center field belong to the first baseman. Okay, left field belongs to the third baseman. So we're going to watch all three plays. Ball, fly ball hit the left field. Now R3, this runner right here, he's simply going to tag up. And now, as you can see, when I press play, how all the blue dots are still going to move, even though it's a routine play to left field. Here's the fly ball. Here, there's the third baseman going to get into his spot so that he can be the cutoff guy. And you got shortstop. Shortstop vacates his position to go cover third base. As you can see, all bases are being covered. Third baseman is dropping into his block to get the cut. And right now we're working after on R3. And then of course, left field, third base, and catcher once again created a straight line down the chute. And you can see the red line all the way to the catcher. And of course, you got your pitcher backing up home plate. That's the left field. Okay, now we're going to see what happens when the ball gets to center field. As we discussed earlier in the video, the first baseman is responsible for center field tag up and right field tag up with run runner on, and that runner is on third base in this situation. So we're just going to run through this pretty quick. As you can see, fly ball hits a right field to center field. Center fielder gets underneath it. As you see, the first baseman already saw that it was a fly ball up in the air center field he got across to the center of the diamond second base vacated to cover first base shortstop did his job over at second base and of course third base is occupying the bag at third base so as you can see when I press play once again we cre they created a straight line the home plate and the communication is between the catcher and the pitcher now as I've discussed in previous videos if this ball is a little to the right. If, if this ball is a little to the right of the first baseman, or a little bit to the left of the first baseman, that first baseman instinctively should cut that ball off because it's offline. But the catcher in that situation needs to communicate to cut the ball and go to a, go to a bag where he feels the play is going to the play is going to end up. Remember, the catcher is the only position player on the whole entire field that can see the whole entire field. He's the only player that can see the field. He's like the, tra the guy that runs the traffic. He can see everything. So in this scenario, first baseman cuts and uh, goes, goes four, or he can cut it here and keep this guy at second base and not allow that free base and let this gentleman right here, this guy that just at first base, get into scoring position. We don't want that if we, if we, we don't have to. Okay? And then last but not least, we're going to reset the play and we're going to go to right field on this fly ball and first baseman is on right side of the field so the first baseman is going to do his job and become the cut as you can see all the blue dots are moving every single blue dot third baseman is covering the bag because the guy's going to tag and everybody's starting to move to create their lines and right field is looking up to find his first baseman and inside of his block creating a straight line to the catcher and as you can see once again from where the ball started to where the ball ended, the guys created a straight line, and then of course you got your pitcher back here backing up on an overthrow. So those are all the plays with a runner at third, outfield fly balls, sacrifice fly to all the positions, and how the defense needs to move.